This episode is brought to you by The Guarantors. Facing rising renter fraud? Don't let fraudulent applications compromise your financial stability. The Guarantors provide a safety net that protects your rent roll and minimizes bad debt. Why risk it? Talk to The Guarantors and secure your property's financial health. Visit theguarantors.com forward slash multifamily today. I wanted to talk about one more item of note as it relates to digital make ready boards, uh, born out of the paper that Dom Beveridge recently published at 2420.com. If you've not read it, go there, pull it down, read it. The, and this is keying off the digital make ready board. We just did a post about that and released it recently, but, uh, the digital make ready board, I've been thinking about this for a very long bit of time. Maybe it's, it's 10, 15 years. It might be 20 years plus or minus that there, there's this idea that's been swelling around, swimming around in my head. Uh, about the notice to vacate as a trigger, whether the consumer is DIY and does the notice to vacate themselves or somebody from your property management team puts that into the system. That notice to vacate, that action by a consumer, by a team member, is the predicate for so many things that can be automated, uh, whether you're using organizational design that gets very pointy as it relates to the people that will take care of the, the various tasks and functions related to a notice to vacate, or you automate and digitize the entire uh, back office as it relates to a notice to vacate. All of these things are possible now. I, I believe they're all possible and you can stitch the entire thing together. But consumer puts a, the trigger happens, the notice to vacate happens, the unit is then put into a digital make ready board. All of the vendors are notified immediately. They are given times that they come to do the work. They either say they can do it or they can't. And because you have multiple vendors, if one vendor can't do it, the next one can. So you schedule, you control the schedule as it relates to the people that are, are doing the work to get your uh, inventory put back online and ready for the next resident. So all of that happens. The second the notice to vacate is put in, all of the work orders are uh, distributed instantly. And then marketing is also automated and distributed and all of it is all done the second the notice to vacate goes in. Marketing to include, in my head, there's a whole social ecosystem out there, be it Facebook conversations, X conversations, Instagram conversations, all kinds of conversations happening on a daily basis out there in the socials. And <laughs> We can harvest that information, that our information can be harvested such that if somebody is looking for an apartment in Atlanta, Georgia, and they're moving here from Sioux Falls, the, the system is smart enough to go out there and start to have a conversation with somebody that is moving to Atlanta um, or soon to be moving to Atlanta. Or there are other mechanisms. There's are things that are not coming to mind readily, but there are other ways to go out and find the uh, demographic as it relates to the price of the apartment, as it relates to look, all those things that factor into somebody being attracted to your community, the system is smart enough to know that and they go out and they find that group of individuals to bring them into your community. And that's all done without a human touch. It's all done without human touch. The ad copy is written, the visuals are made, the, if you want to do video, theatrical sort of movie kind of reels that you put out to specific individuals with a specific message to them as it relates to their moving experience, all of that stuff done, boom, 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 all, all of it. Perplexity, all the, the GAI tools that are out there now that have come a long way you can hear, you can make sounds, you can make food, you can make it anything, but all of this is done. Trigger is notice to vacate, all those things go into motion, up to and including where you have this service that happens. Let's say somebody comes in and they do some flooring work in the apartment. They take a picture as evidence for that thing being done. You have some sort of thresholds built into your accounting system. So anything below $50 just automatically gets paid. I'm making that number up. Anything above 50 bucks has to have these layers of proof of service and somebody pressing a button to say, yes, it's good to go. If you want those kinds of controls put in place, but over time, AI is going to learn what is acceptable and what is not acceptable as it relates to the, to the, the geo tag that is in the photograph that they send over to you. So they know you were actually in that particular space that you're saying you were in and the quality of the work based on the quality of the photograph that was taken um, based on parameters that you've put in place with your vendors ahead of time. So anyway, the long story short is that as it relates to organizational design in the future for property management, for portfolio management, for 
asset management for all of these things. It's all going to happen behind the scenes. All of it, all of it will happen behind the scenes. And we're just talking about inventory right now, apartment inventory. I could get off on a whole tangent as it relates to windshield time for vendors that are making it to your space to do the work that is involved and making sure that that windshield time is reduced by the fact that you've got multiple vendors, all kinds of things that you can factor into this, but uh, the technology is all there. The backbone is all there. And the engine, the gasoline for the engine, this AI tool that we have, these AI tools that we have, GAI tools that we have, all of these tools have made it possible now. And all these tools are learning. Every piece of data that goes into the systems now is being used to train and learn, right? You don't have to, you can bake in data that you have currently in your organization, but you also can draw in other data sets and put those things to work. Bolt them on as like nodes, right? All these data collection mechanisms are training the AI to the point that it'll just, It'll just do all of this stuff. Apartments will be rented. A notice to vacate will happen. The whole life cycle of getting the apartment ready for the next resident will happen. And somebody will move into an apartment all without a human interaction. That is possible. I believe that is possible today. All the technology is there. Bolting it together is, is happening with different uh, vendor supplier partners. And the day is here. It's this fourth quarter, first quarter of next year, are going to be some of the most exciting times as it relates to technology in the multifamily space since I've been in 30 years plus minus I've been in this. And I'm more excited about today and tomorrow than I have been for the last uh, 30 years because it's just going to happen fast and it's going to be exciting. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.